Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this U-Part wig from Ndula Hair. Um, all the hair details will be down below for you guys if you guys are interested in checking them out. So to start off, um, I decided to install my U-Part wig without braids, which probably wasn't the best idea. Considering that the clips, well, there weren't clips in the wig, they were just like combs. So... I guess it was meant to be installed on like braids but I didn't feel like getting my hair braided so I just decided to install it without braids um, I feel like this would work way better if the wig did have combs um, I kind of want to take out the combs that are in the wig and then install clips because I actually do like the wig the install just wasn't the best for me so I'm just going and separating out the hair that I'm gonna have out my leave out So this is the wig um, as you can see all the combs I was talking about if they just clipped into place this would have worked way better also another thing with this wig it was like extremely big on my head I don't know why it was so big like there, it like it literally felt like it was hanging off my head um, I'm pretty sure I had it up far enough if I brought it any well, maybe I'll have to bring it further but if I did then it would be like on my forehead so I couldn't bring it further up but um, I'm just inserting all the little combs and you will see later on when I realized that it wasn't staying in place because there wasn't like a braid for the comb to like go into. I took bobby pins and kind of like pinned it into place. That helped a little bit but still like the back of the wig was like really huge. Like I even adjusted the straps and it was still, it just felt like the wig was hanging off my head. Um, I'm just going to be curling it as well. You guys will see that pretty soon once I get all this figured out. starting to curl the hair um i did use my bigger barrel curling iron because i did want them to be loose but i feel like just to get them a little bit more defined and also since i was curling part of my own hair 
and my hair really didn't hold the curls well because I did just straighten my hair before this video I should have used my smaller curling iron just so that the curls bear just a little bit more but I did like the way it turned out I just wish that the curl was a little bit more noticeable but all in all I did like this wig a lot I do want to um try to install it again maybe take those combs out and install clips on it myself but yeah I'm just gonna let you guys watch me curl the hair um you'll see the finished result at the end I really 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 like this I love how well my hair blended with it because I did um dye it black I did the watercolor method and I dyed the wig black because my hair is dyed black so I wanted it to match perfectly but yeah, I really like this. I feel like you part wigs may become like my new thing whenever I have my natural hair out. Because I can really see this like coming in handy whenever I just want like some extra length or just like a different look. So I'm just going to let you guys go ahead and watch the rest of this video. Um, there's not much that I did besides curling it. After I did my makeup, I went and curled it a little bit more. I didn't want to keep putting too much heat on my leave out. So I didn't really like try to force the curl to stay. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to have all the hair details down below for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.
sweat a little 